When working on projects these days, there is a high probability that we will at some point need to make use of the tools and functionality available in other applications. In media and entertainment circles, a pipeline that makes use of both 3ds Max and Maya is, in a number of places, becoming pretty much the norm. For this reason, the new interop functions that have been added in recent releases have been very welcome. These have made it possible to round trip between 3ds Max and its entertainment creation siblings, Maya, Soft Image, Motion Builder and Mudbox, with just a few mouse clicks. As the workflow is basically the same for each of these applications, I'm just going to demonstrate it using Maya in this video. To follow the steps for this exercise, you will need to load the send2.max scene file from the working files folder. Of course, to follow along, you will also need to have access to some flavor of Autodesk's entertainment creation suite, or standalone versions of the creation suite applications. Remember, the version numbers have to match up, so you would, for instance, need Maya 2014 to follow the steps we will outline here. To see how this interop works then, let's click the application button in the top left corner of the Max UI and come down and hover the cursor over the Send To option. In the flyout, we see a list of all the applications that the Send To function can be used with, the topmost of which is Maya. If we again hover over the Maya button, we get another flyout listing the options available. We have Send As New Scene, update current scene, add to current scene, and select previously sent objects. Obviously the fact that update current scene and add to current scene are greyed out means they are currently unavailable. These two options only become active when the send to application is already running. As we have had no interaction with Maya up to this point, let's select the send as new scene option. And straight away, we get a 3ds Max query dialog that pops up. Because we use the send to command with no geometry selected in the scene, Max wants to know how it should proceed. Have we accidentally forgotten to select a specific object to send? Or do we want to send our entire current scene to Maya? Well, let's assume I only want to send a particular object at this moment in time. For this reason, I am going to click the no button. What happens now is Maya starts to launch and a connection between the two applications will be established. In fact, if we, now in the Maya application, just close all of the startup dialogues and look down in the bottom right of the UI, we can see Maya is telling us that it is connected to 3ds Max. Clearly though, no send to operation has been performed. Let's jump back to 3ds Max then and send a scene object over to Maya. In this instance, all we need to do is select our spiral staircase geometry, go back to the application button, and in the send to Maya options, now that we have Maya running, we can use either the update or add to current scene options. Update gives us the ability to overwrite previously sent objects with a new version. Add to will, well, add selected objects to the current scene's contents. If the object already exists, however, it will create another version of it. In this case, I will use the update current scene option, which will automatically jump us over to Maya. Now, initially it may look as though nothing has happened, but if we just pull back in our Maya viewport by holding down the Alt key and then clicking and dragging with our right mouse button, you can see the geometry is indeed there. If we just jump back to Max, we can also select the teapots. Go to the Send To button again, and this time select Add to Current Scene. Again, we automatically switch back to Maya, and if we click the Smooth Shade All button, we can see that our teapots are not only in the scene, but are placed in the exact same spot on the staircase as in the Max version. Having the ability to transfer scenes quickly and easily between a number of entertainment creation suite applications is certainly good news for many Autodesk software users. Although not yet a flawless system, being able to share geometry, Animated characters and even particle data across these programs means we can use each of them according to their strengths, hopefully producing an even better final piece of work.